Okay, we are live. We are live today at Kathy Bowes Crafting Show. Woo! -hoo! And y'all know I used the Jigsaw Junior. I still got 10 of these. Always a plus. And I've got some stuff to show y'all. Um, I used the Jigsaw Junior today. And I've got all of it to show you. It's a lot of fun. It's working great. Um, just a little stutter with it. But hey, it just took a minute to get it right back on track. Thank you. I'm excited about today, too. We are making a beautiful project, y'all. And I'm going to be using some things I haven't used, such as, oops, here we go, this metal ribbon. This is from Hobby Lobby and it comes on a spool and when you open it up you have to you have to cut these uh, plastic ties and when you open it up it just spins and spins and spins until it gets really big. It was very entertaining and I got it at 40% off. Here it is. Woohoo! So we're going to be using that and let's see. I think that's all. I'm going to give you a quick video and and so you don't miss it. I'll go ahead and share that. And here we go. Y'all ready? This is the Jigsaw Junior video. Okay guys, it's Jigsaw Junior time. He's all plugged in. And I got my little my little doorstop puppy here. He's gonna hold him right here so Mr. Jigsaw Junior doesn't walk off the table. I don't know how the six-year-olds handled this in the old days, but this is how we're handling it now. This is my little paint stirrer. It's got a little um ruler on it, but we're gonna paint over that. So I'm gonna cut it these places here. They're oh so nicely marked. Unlike this one when I first cut it, so I was just a little excited. I'm going to trim off these edges here. So we'll try that first. Okay, so it was a little hard to get in there because where the color of the wood changes colors a bit, it's a thicker, more dense cut. So, you know, that happened. And I'm using another piece to push it through so that I continue to have all five fingers. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time to go to hospital, right? Okay, here we go, piece number two. Okay, so y'all saw this slipping around a little bit. Here's the story. I'm going to have to sand that just a little bit. <clears throat> the Jigsaw Junior, y'all, the reason it's working is because I'm having to press down. And I don't want to get too close to the blade, so I'm pressing down out here. And that's why it wiggled around a little bit. Because I don't want to get closer to the blade. Because, you know, fingers. Okay, so we, did, we need to do this one.
Okay, so we got that one done. Now, we're going to cut this uh, group of little ones. And, yeah, he's walking around, y'all. He's walking around like he's got places to go and things to do, but I'm telling you, he needs to be right here. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm wearing some crazy leggings, too. Okay, here we go. Y'all may be wondering why did that one go better because I got two ways to hold on and press down. The whole thing here is pressing down. up with seven pieces of wood and ten fingers. Yay! It's a good day with the Jigsaw Junior. And remember, if your finger's not on the floor, it's not a Jigsaw Junior. Okay, y'all. How'd you like the little video? So, y'all, after I did the video, and let me know if you're here. I see Marilyn and Teresa and Lindell. Lindell, I know where coming is. Um, it's about, probably about an hour from me. I'm southwest. I'm in Noonan. Northeast, southwest. Yeah, yeah. Southwest. So, my Ninja Man told me when this piece of wood is going through, instead of pushing it like this, like that, that I should press it down like this and push it through. So that would have helped it too. Okay, so I'll show you what we're working on today. Please hold. Y'all see what's happening here? I'm working on my crosses and I'm trying to get this guy. I'm using super glue. Um, I got wood glue too, but... Um, Wood glue takes a little time to, to dry, so Ninja Man said, just use super glue. So I'm going to hot glue this one. These have been here sitting here drying for a little while. I'm trying to get my heat gun ready. He's not quite ready, but I'll show you while that's heating up. I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to start with the big guy. I hope he's dry enough, but I'm just going to let him sit here a few minutes while I... While I do this. Okay, so this is kind of like ribbon. It's from Hobby Lobby. Let me see. Oh, I'm trying to show you like I'm in front of you. It's from Hobby Lobby in the wedding section. And it's metal. And it's, you know, got the sharp edge and all that. Um, but the one I got is this width. It's, it's not as thick. And this is its bundle. Okay, so I'll show you the difference. See the difference? So I got these half price. This one was $7.99, so I paid $4 for that. And this one, I think, was um, $4.99, I think. Yeah. So I've got a piece here, and it's easy to just bend the back. I'm going to go ahead and start staining this, I think, if it's, if it's dry. And it is. It is. My little super glue here. Wait a minute. Uh, here it is. Okay, now this one, I do still need, need to cut this off. Does ribbon go on 50%? Um, it does. And I got it at 50% that day, but I, I, it was like last week, I think. Let me look. I got my little, my little receipt right here. Oh, dear. Well, I did. Wait a minute. No, that, that was a different receipt. Hold on. Nope. Um, here we go. February 19th, Hobby Lobby, 50% off floral. So, yeah, yeah. It was. <sighs> Teresa, you're looking for property. Yay! Come on my road. But anyway, so I'm going to cut this off, y'all, with the Jigsaw Junior. Ba-ba-bum.
I'm not afraid of power tools. Well, I am kind of. I have a I have a respect for them. Not so much fear, but more of a respect. Okay, so I want these about in the same place. So I'm going to put this here. And I'm just going to hot glue for now because my um, other glue is taking too long. Okay, don't, if you're going to make this, take the time with some wood glue. Um, don't use hot glue. Okay, there, do, do they do a 50% on certain stuff one week and certain on the next week? I think my friend told me that. I believe floral is 50% off. I need to get in there. Oh, girl, I do too now because you know what I did? I have scrounged all over the house to get floral and now I need to um I need to replenish it because my grandgirls were here, the grand littles, and they wanted to make a wreath each. So they were like, Do you have any any greenery or any floral? And I'm like, Yep, go rob the displays, the the home and home accent whatever you want to call it i let them just pick out stuff because it's all dollar tree well most of it what i'm using today is not but you know i've definitely got it on sale or something it's just not that big a deal it's you know making memories with the grand littles and letting them um letting them make something it'll be spe more special to them than me hanging on to a bunch of flowers right right okay i gotta unplug that glue gun. So don't do as I, as I do. Do as I say do. This is glue gun glued. So I would go back after this. If it's not really solid, I'm going to go back and put wood glue on it. And yes, you can get wood glue at the Dollar Tree. One dollar. I bought two or three. Two or three. Okay, so now we are going to stain and paint this. So we got paper towels now, and I'm going to use one of these little guys right here. Put me some uh, paint in here. Oh, you know what? No, I want to use, I want to use this um, Stampin' Up! ink because I really like what it does. It It's kind of slow because, you know, it's, it's an ink refill. I mean, it just drips. So, you know, I got to do quite a bit in here because you don't want it to gush out because that's pretty much all you need to do an ink pad. But I'm going to need a whole lot more than that. I'm just getting some right now. Um, Teresa, it is beautiful out here and um, quiet. And I mean, we got one guy that drives up and down the street, but he, he does it. The thing is, he's got a good job, I guess, because he's been doing it, you know, at the time to go to work and the time to come home. Um, oh, I'm not liking this. That's staying on there. Um, he's He drives back and forth with his radio thumping. Um, but it's okay, because it just lasts a minute, and we know that he's home, and <laughs> whoever he is, we're like, oh, well, he's home. And I don't know how he stands to do that. Listen, that music so loud. It's not even music. It's just bass, you know. But who knows? You lost my hired help. I did. I asked him. Um, I said, "Don't, don't do it if you don't want to do it." He goes, "Okay, I'm not doing it." <laughs> I'm like, okay. <clears throat> I think he just got bored with paying attention to the um. To the comments. I'm going to see if I can sand off this ruler because if not, I need to flip this over. I don't know why they put a ruler on it. What's wrong with them? We're going to do this side, y'all. I'm so sorry. I said sorry, but it's okay. Oh, there's a ruler over here. Yeah, I can't win for losing. Hold on. We're going to have to do something different. This is part of crafting. You say, well, that didn't work, so you go do something different, right? Right. Going to use paint this time. Going to go back to this side since I've already started on it. See if I can cover that stain. If not, oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, it's still still showing through a bit. Might have to do two coats on that one. 
and my super glue showed up too, but that's okay because remember we're going to put, we're going to use metal ribbon. But yeah, I, I think his, um, his love for crafting is at a, is at an all time low right now <laughs> after sitting in here a few times. Yeah, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, he vacuumed this morning, which was really sweet because I'm, you know, I don't just pop on here and ready to roll. I've got, you know, there's a little preparation on Thursdays as well as Tuesdays when I do my paper crafting. There's quite a bit that goes into it. And um, let's see, Teresa, we are in the looking stage once somewhere quiet. It is so quiet here. We love it. We can hear the birds in the morning. We got all the spaces to roam and um, just, you know, tell Greg to talk to Ninja Man if he wants to know about all that, about, you know, life out here for the guys anyway, because it's, you know, I sit outside my little garden out front. I put a, we put a hammock out there last year. Um, but yeah, so, so last year, I already had the hammock and I wanted a hammock stand. Um, I already had the hammock and it's one of those, what's it called? It starts with a P. It's kind of fancy, y'all. We got it when, um, you know, we were both working and that kind of thing. And um, pop, pop, P A W, Paul something. Polly's Island. Ow, that's it. Polly, P A W L E Y. Polly's Island hammock. And they're pricey. But like I said, we were both working and I wanted a nice hammock and it's lasted, good heavens, at least, at least 10, 12 years. And I had it on my back porch in Savannah, but it's a covered porch with, uh, you know, screened in covered porch, that kind of thing. Well, we moved here and we did put some extra, um, extra support in the ceiling of this room that we added on that was going to be a big porch and it ended up being a room and it's pretty fabulous. I think it, you know, anyway, it's not fancy y'all. I'm, I am so not a fancy girl. Never have been, never will be. Um, my aunt had furniture you were not allowed to sit on and it was covered in plastic and I thought that was the most ridiculous thing and I was only eight years old. So, um, yeah, that'll never happen. But anyway, I was going to hang my hammock out there and then we ended up putting beds out there and, you know, all that. So, it's in the front and I think, you know, it might last another year or two and then I'll have to replace it and I probably won't buy the expensive Polly Islands to put out there. Probably not. Okay, so I'm just painting the edges. Missing some edges. Teresa been praying for you since your ER state. Thank you, Lindell. That's so sweet. Teresa's precious. Um, It's beautiful. Yes, it is. It's beautiful out here. So did my aunt. She had a white room. Ah, yeah. Polly's Island is a great vacation area. I love the shop. I've never been there. Um, Lindell, is that like South Carolina, Charleston area? I, I really don't remember. And I say I've never been there. I don't think I have. There's a lot of places local to us that I've never been. But the man, they that Polly's Island hammock is nice. It is so nice. And like I said, you know, it's outside now, and I would love to say I've had it for 40 years and it's in great condition. That will not happen with this hammock, because if I do, it's because it's been on a shelf. And um, I don't think it would be the same to climb up on the shelf and use my hammock. So um, I'm going to have to go with... <laughs> I'm going to have to go with the um, yard hammock once again. Oh, but I was telling you, we bought a, we bought a um, hammock stand. South Carolina below Myrtle Beach. Okay, thank you. That's, then it's where I'm thinking. Um, we bought a hammock stand off of Marketplace in on Facebook. And it was kind of neat because 
I was like, John, I need a hammock stand. Went on Facebook Marketplace, looked, and lo and behold, somebody had literally listed it about the time that I said I needed one. So I get in touch with the lady and she's like, hey, hey, yeah, I got a hammock stand. And I'm like, I'm on my way. And we just took off and went and got it. I think it was like 20 bucks. I don't know. But it's still standing. It's it's a great little hammock stand. And I got that out front in my little sitting area. I've got, don't be impressed, y'all. It's not fancy right now. It's covered in wheat. Oh, dear. Look at that. Right now it's covered in weeds and we got to work on it. I never want anybody to think I'm like, look what I got. It's not like that with me ever. Because whatever I have, somebody else owned it first pretty much. I love to bargain shop. I really always have. Um, for the exception of, you know, fancy hammocks. Um, I pretty much have, I'm a thrift store girl, you know. And I enjoy, I enjoy saving money. Well, hello, Dollar Tree Crafts over here. Um, I grew up with plastic wrap furniture. Marilyn, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? And doesn't it make you wonder why, why did you get it, you know? And, okay, here's the thing. Our parents grew up in the Depression. And the fact that I can't, that they could have nice furniture is probably what encouraged them to cover it in plastic. I once crossed, oh dear, oh dear. I literally almost stuck my fingers together. Whew, this stuff goes on hot. Um, I one time, once I, I cross-stitched mom, well, I did several things, but one particular set of pillows I cross-stitched for her. And she, for some reason, one time I had to go on a shelf in her, in her closet. I'm like, ma, why do you have, why do you have these things wrapped in plastic? She had put the little pillows on a shelf in her bedroom and wrap, you know, put them in a, a Ziploc or something. I don't know. She's like, well, I don't want them to get messed up. I said, mama, if they get messed up, I will make you more. And she took them down and put them on her bed. Okay. Now I know right there, I didn't hold my mouth right. I'm telling you. Okay. So there we go. We're going to repaint over this. You see the, um, the marks for the ruler that was so proud to pop out. And I, if I had realized it was going to do that, I would have flipped this wood over. This wood, y'all, I'll show you what I got. These are from Lowe's. They are paint sticks. They're, ah, 12-inch ruler sticks. How about that? Maybe they have them without the ruler. We'll look for that next time. I just asked Ninja Man to go into Lowe's and get me these. He got me two packs of these because there's 10 in each. And then he got me a few packs of these. I said, just spend $10 and get me all the sticks you can more of these than those because I needed the longer ones because I can cut these into smaller ones if I need them, but I can't grow these, right? Right. So this was also from Lowe's. There's three in here. There's 10 in here. So he got me a, a good haul of those. And there we go. We're going to let that, y'all, y'all. Okay. This is why I can't play well with others. I just get everybody messy. This is drying. We're just going to leave him alone for a minute. This, I don't know. I don't know how it did. I hot glued it. I'm doing whatever it takes today. Okay. Oh, dear. All right. So we're going to have to have real glue on this. The hot glue, yeah, it's not holding up very well. But we're going to paint it anyway. And that's why this is live because, you know, we're just crafting together. And if the others don't work out right now, I'm going to do this one and you'll see how we're going to do Okay, here, let's see. Let's do this one. Oh, good. Oh, wait, that's the wood glue. That's never going to dry. Please hold. Okay, so did y'all see my video when I first started, and what'd you think? What'd you think of the Jigsaw Junior and the fact that I still have 10 fingers, y'all? I mean, there's not a parade or anything, but hey, 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 that's a pretty good deal, isn't it? Pretty good deal. 
Now I'm just holding this here for a second because, you know, things are happening over here. Things are popping off and going crazy and I'm heating up. I got my fan on, but it's okay. Whoo, doggies. There. Now, I'm just going to leave him alone for a minute. Come back to this guy. He's almost dry, so we'll add a little bit to his, to his little ruler self over here. And the idea is, y'all... We want, we want to do three crosses. I wanted a big one in the middle, of course, and the two smaller ones on either side. Now, this one I am making for my wall. However, if anybody wants it, and of course it would be made just a little nicer than this because, you know, I got to try to do better. Um, but I would use wood glue, and they would be like you'd have to really work to remove it. Ask me how I know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so if anybody wants this, you can order a set from me, but I don't know right now what it would cost. So we're just gonna dry this. Sorry for the noise. Just gonna put this under the dryer. Dry this for a little bit. I'm watching it as it dries. This is just a heat gun. I use it in my paper crafting. It's from Stampin' Up, but you can get them at, um, anywhere michael's or pretty much anywhere of course you know if you want one i'd rather you order it through me with stampin up it even says stampin up on it see boop right there and it's got two speeds and one speed we use pretty much for um for um like light drawing like not not heavy duty stuff. But this thing gets hot. Hot. Love Jigsaw Jr. I do too, Marilyn. Jigsaw Jr.'s my buddy now. Uh oh. Oh dear. Y'all, somebody's not acting right. I don't know why. Hold on. We may never get to this. Ninja Man. Y'all, he doesn't wear his hearing aids, he just keeps going. I'm like, I'm talking to you. Oh, y'all, so tomorrow we're getting three grandkids, the grand littles, from my son. And on Saturday, the other two grand littles are coming. That's the two that normally come. And um, there will be five, five, five. But if there are five, we are... Our demands are that one parent has to be here to help, and that will be my daughter. She will be helping with, with the crew of grandkids. All right, we're just going to put this one back over in the hospital for a little while and focus on the guy that's acting right. Right? Okay. So let me get my little sanding thingy right here. We're just going to rough the edges up a little bit. Just going to distress it just a bit. Stay away from those inch marks, whatever they're called. But you see how when you when you do it around the edges, um, how it starts to look a little distressed? I just, I kind of want it to look old, you know? Let's see if y'all can see the whole thing. There we go. Here we go. So a little bit on the um, Stampin' Up! news. We are getting a new catalog very soon. And I'm so excited. I'm doing a... Um, I'm not hosting the event, but I'm participating in an event on Saturday. Yeah, while the Grand Littles are here. And we've already figured out how that'll work. <laughs> and not work. <laughs> I'm going to be in here with the door shut. But y'all, we put barn doors on my studio. Um, Teresa gets grandson tomorrow, turns five, spending weekend with Nan and Poppy. Oh, his party Saturday. Um, Phoebe's party is Saturday, and it's going to be here. She will be nine. Um, so, you know, I can close the barn door that closes off my studio. I've got a barn door on the bathroom and a barn door on the studio. The studio bathroom. I showed y'all a uh, picture of that once. 
and I don't have it now. But anyway, so it they're not quiet. Like you can't really you can't really get rid of the noise when you have a barn door. Apparently, um, of course, ours are not like we went to the store and bought a barn door. Ours were huge doors that we cut down in order to use them the way we wanted to. And they're kind of neat. They're very unique, if nothing else. Okay, so we've sanded. We've got a little distressing going on here. I can always touch this up or sand it down a little more if I want to later. So now I'm going to place this on here. And it just, I just bent the back. It's just going to hook around the back like this, okay? And I've got to, I think I might hot glue it. I think that's what I'm going to do. But for some reason, I want this on the top. I don't think it's even going to show. All right, so I'm going to bend this end down. I'm trying to make it where y'all can see. I'm going to bend this end down right here. And it's really a nice, snug fit on the length. Um... But let me plug in this guy again and see about, uh-oh. <laughs> Y'all, I'm knocking stuff everywhere, and I don't care. I don't care. Okay. Um, Ninja Man. Yo. Anyway, how many times have I needed my Ninja Man? I mean, it, have I not called him three times? Okay, so I'm going to hot glue a little bit here, and then I've got this other piece that's going to go this way. So it's going to crop. Y'all, this is going to be beautiful. It is going to be just beautiful, isn't it? But wait, there's more. We don't stop with just the trim. Oh, no. Not on the Kathy Bow Crafting Show. Mm -mm. We got to add extra, and it's a surprise. So just hang on. You know what? I'm going to paint this while I'm waiting on my, my glue gun to heat up. Go ahead and paint the ow, the um, numbers off that ruler. I'm going to have to go in Lowe's next time. Y'all, I don't, I really don't get out of the car much because, you know, COVID. I mean, we just kind of stay in. And I know we're about to have the Grand Littles, but um, my son works with senior citizens and I know he ain't sending anybody with any cooties over to my house. I know he's not. Look at that. I glued it. I glued it on there. Come on. Let go. There you go. All right. Oh, just painted my charging cord. That's okay. All right. All right. This is going to be pretty when I finish it. So I think I'll be able to make one big cross and one little cross live. And then I'll finish... I'll finish the crosses, and this is water-soluble paint, water-based paint, so I'm not worried about it getting on me. Um, I'll finish the third one, and then I will post it on my page so y'all can see it. All right, are you working yet? Oh, well, how about that? Okay, it's working. All right, so we're going to turn this over, and I guess if you were kind of a wood shoppy kind of person, you would use some sort of tack right here. Like, I've got a staple gun, an electric staple gun. Ask me where it is. I don't know. I haven't seen it since we moved. So I'm just going to set this like this, and I'm going to clamp it down because, um, because the glue, I mean, the whole thing is kind of standing up a little bit, okay? All right, so I'm holding it on like this, just hot glued it. I'm going to go over here. Um, and Marilyn, you should be getting your, your package, what, by Saturday, I think? It's in a box. It's in a Stampin' Up! box. It's pretty awesome. I hope you love it and enjoy it for a long time. Okay, so we're going to put this one down. And I am also eyeballing it to just see that it's kind of centered, okay? And there we go. Put a little more on there because I can. And I'll also be able to... Oh, I'm so sorry. Here we go. I'll also be able to run a little something through there when I'm done to hang it with. 
Okay, and if you have not commented, let me know you're here, please, so I can say hey. And anytime you comment or like my page, things like that, you know, it helps us, us who are trying to make it with the crafting world. It does. Um, I've been posting on YouTube as well, but it takes so long to edit a video, so I don't... I don't post all my videos there, y'all. I don't. Because when I edit it, I usually take it out um, when I verbally comment on somebody, you know, when somebody says something and I, and I respond because YouTube can't see those comments. So they, they'll be like, what is she talking about? Um, here we go. Oh, y'all. My super glue is not a good solution. I'm not happy. Okay, here we go. So I will come back and put wood glue on, on these, okay? Right, so we're just going to do this. Put that in the... Oh, oh, move down. There you go. There you go. Put that right there. Okay, this ought to be dry by now. And... Well, I don't think I need that. Oh, it's popping up over here, but that's okay. All right, and then we would glue these ends as well. Your wall is ready. Yay. Can't wait. Be sure and uh, send me a picture. If it'll let you post it on my uh, Creatively Blessed page, that would be awesome. I'll take these off too. And y'all know where I'm keeping all this stuff? Uh-oh. Don't you dare fall in my lap, you old paint bucket cup thing. Okay, I'm keeping all this stuff. I was going to move this to the to the kitchen, but I've decided to just use it in here. I know it's close, but look at all this. I mean, I, I know y'all can't see the whole thing, but this is what we made one day, and it was fabulous, and I love it, and I'm using it in here because it keeps things organized and off the table. Very helpful. Very helpful. Okay, now, this is the flower thing that I robbed from my outdoor, we have a little fire pit on the, on the front porch, and this was part of the thing that I used to cover it. Anyway, it's coming apart, y'all, because I'm taking it apart, but it might be, there might be, they might be too big. I may not need many. Let's see. Let's see here. Definitely want some greenery. Hey, that'll be great if I can still use it and it's not, you know, I don't ruin this thing. Let's see. Here we go. But I, I did. I sent the girls out on the porch and I said, go pick you some flowers. <laughs> but they were picking, you know, silk flowers to use in their little thing. I'm using three of these. And I might go ahead and just just see if I can fit three of these on. Because I think it would be pretty. I don't know. We shall see. I've also got hydrangeas. But I'm not using those right now. Um, probably what I'll end up doing, because I don't think all three crosses should have, you know, any kind of real beauty about them. I think one should. Okay, so I'm putting two like this, and then I'm putting one like this. Would you would you stop it? You're not going to be able to glue if you act like that. Okay, putting one right here, okay? All right, I'm going to hold it down. Holding it down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't even need them right now, but I figured I better. I better, y'all. I better use them. Okay, instead of just keeping going here because we're going to lose the top if I do that, I am going to go... This way, y'all. This way. I think I'm going to do that. I'm just doing it as I figure it out, y'all. Just doing it as I figure it out. There's that. And there's this. And there's this one. Oh, he's still connected. Okay, fine. You can go together. 
Y'all can go together if you want to. Put a little hot glue here. Put a little hot glue and put you in there. Y'all, this is getting really pretty. One should stand out. Thank you, Lindell. That's what I'm thinking. Yes, yes, yes. I think so, my friend. We will let one stand out. Because that is the main one. All right, get in there. Get in there. I'm thinking some white ribbons will be pretty hanging down too, but I don't know. Wouldn't y'all know I got to get another glue stick, but it's right here. I got a little cup of glue sticks. Oh, these little things are just coming right off, but that's okay. That's okay. It's just crafting, y'all. Okay, so I don't know if I showed y'all this time. Drape a pretty ribbon on the middle. Yes, the large one. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so the idea is you put a little bit of glue on this so that when you push it through, they go well together. Ninja Man, I've been calling you and calling you. He's still not listening. Okay, <laughs> it's okay. I'm a day late and a dollar short. My comments, I hate the delay. I know the, the delay is probably the biggest thing because um, I know y'all y'all say things and I'm like, I don't see it until it's like 10 minutes. Oh, y'all, look at this just popping right off. That's okay. It's okay. We're still going to use it. All right. Now, what I need is some really big, isn't this pretty, y'all? Goodness gracious. Okay, so if I figure out how... I'm getting ribbon. Y'all, I'm in my ribbon cabinet. Please hold. Look at what I grabbed. My 98 cent. Need color on the ribbon. Um, it, it would be... I gotta look it up, but I'm thinking it would be purple. For he is risen. If I'm correct, I'm not sure. But I think that's right. All right, we're going to try. Let's, how about if I get these off my fingers? Because, y'all, there. Huh. There. Okay. Now, I'm not going to hang it evenly. I think what I'm going to do is just kind of do it like this. Well, I've got a ribbon. I've got a press for my ribbon. A little, a little heat press. Let me grab it. I'll be right back because it's right here. And this guy is a ribbon iron and purple. Yeah, I thought so. Purple. Um, this is a ribbon iron and it irons ribbon. And you would think, who needs that? But y'all, I would not have bought this for myself. Because, I don't know, this is made by Pebbles Incorporated. And it I would really think a flat iron would do fine, except for the width. But, um, but y'all, a lady gave it to me at some scrapbooking thing that I went to. It was a, a retreat, and I was there for several days. And she had two, and I was just fascinated. I'm like, wow, what, tell me about this thing. And she did, and she's like, you know what, I've got two of them if you want one. And I said, please. And then my friend wants one, so I went to Amazon, and they ain't cheap. Um, it's not hot yet. It's not even it's not even ready yet. Wah wah wah. I kinda wanna put eyes on it right here so it can go wah wah and talk. Yeah, so it should be a purple ribbon. Let me look while I'm waiting on this to heat up. See if I got a purple. I don't think I have a purple ribbon. I'm not sure about either one of these. But I've got a light purple. And then this kind of a, almost a maroon. So the light purple is thin. As you can see the strip there. It's thin, but I could do several strips of it. Or I could do the maroon. And it's ruffledy, you know. So I don't know. Y'all tell me if I should go with the thin Henrietta Hippo. Make it look like Henrietta Hippo. I don't know who Henrietta Hippo is. I'm out of the Henrietta Hippo loop, y'all. Tell me which um, 
which ribbon I should use. We got number one is the white, number two is the frilly, number three is this. Or I could just hold off and get some purple ribbon somewhere. So we have four options. But meanwhile, I'm going to iron this because I can. Okay. Here we go. I got, I got paint and glue on my hands. See, it just kind of presses right through. This is a satin ribbon here. I'm going to leave it in there a little bit longer to get it good and flat. The darker. All right, Marilyn says to use the darker, which is the frilly one. Let's look and see what we think, y'all. And I'm waiting to see what everybody else thinks. It's okay if we, if we like different ones. I'm trying to unplug this thing. Okay, so let's see how this looks. Let go, let go, okay. Oh, yeah, that might, yeah, that might be okay. Um, I got to decide how I want it to look. Like, do I want to put, I don't think I want a bow. I think I just want the ribbon hanging. Just hanging. So we'll do... We're going to do different lengths, maybe three, like this. I think three is the number I'm going with because of the Trinity and the three crosses. And, you know, in the Bible, three is, three is the number. All right, here we go. I've, I'm going to, I'm just lifting up its little flowers. Oh, come on, your kids probably watch her on PBS. Ah, uh, Henrietta Hipper. You know, if I saw her, I'd probably know exactly who it is. Because, boy, did they ever watch PBS when they were little. Okay. I got little strings, I'll tell you that. That's for sure. Let go, crazy stringy thingies. Oh, I really really like this y'all it is so pretty oh my goodness are you still live yes i'm still live yes we are having a bite at our local e eatery oh nice thank you for including us what are we having um i'm i'm kind of down for a good hefty lunch because i'm getting a little hungry over here just getting a little hungry and I'm not, I'm not against a good doggy bag. <laughs> okay, um, Marilyn suggested the, the dark purple, which would be appropriate for the cross, for the uh, resurrection. And I love it. So, y'all, I'm going to see if I can hold it up and show it to you this way. Without my purple fingers. What do y'all think? Is this so pretty or what? Wow, y'all. I'm just loving it, loving it. Except it's got a string. Okay. And by the way, when you make a craft and you've got little glue strings hanging, all you got to do is blow dry them. Now, I do use my heat gun. I'll tell you the truth. I use my heat gun. But, um, but I mean, it just melts, melts those little strings right away. So we're going to have this and we're going to have two of these. Two of these. Okay. Teresa says, nice. Lindell, love it. Marilyn, beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. So I think what I would like to do in the future is maybe find some flowers that kind of hang down a little more. I mean, this is what I had, right? So if I have like, um, gosh, what's that flower that I love? I can't remember the name of it and that's going to bug me. But anyway, I think if we had some that just kind of flowed down, that that would be pretty too right? So y'all, this, this is a, this is a Dollar Tree craft that anybody can do. And I say Dollar Tree, we did get the wood from Lowe's. Um, I'm going to put, I'm going to put a little hanger here and we're going to hang this one 
and these two, boop, two of these on my wall. But these these need a little glue and work a little bit. I got to play with those and use some real wood glue so that they'll hold them. Honeysuckle. That would be pretty, but that's not it. Um, I don't know flowers, y'all. I really don't remember what it's called, but um, I'm going to look at the Dollar Tree and see if I can just envision doing it that way. And now, y'all, I'm thinking the purple flowers might have been pretty on here with that purple, oops, with that purple ribbon. Do it like, like this. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe too much purple. I like the white. Okay, guys, so that was it. If you came in late and missed the video at the beginning, please do watch it. It's very short. Um, it's just fun. And if nothing else, the music makes you want to dance. Okay, so thank you guys. And I will post when I get them all finished and hanging on the wall. And um, y'all let me know if you want to order some or whatever. I'll let you know what the cost is, okay? So God bless, take care, and thank you so much for joining. Love y'all. Toodle.